Well, folks, we did it again. We got another set of wheels for the F-150, making it our third set. The first one were the Steelys that originally came with this XL truck. Uh, then picked these up off of Craigslist for 250 bucks with almost brand new tires, making them practically a steal. I could have flipped them and made some money, but they weren't that bad looking. With those wheels, we painted them satin black. Check out that video. Then I've been getting constant complaints of people saying that these wheels are too small. And I took that personal. And boom, we got ourselves factory 20 inch Ford wheels uh, for, get this guys, $100. All four wheels with tires, by the way. But granted, the tires don't really have that much life left. Well, the only kicker about these wheels is that they were plastic dipped. Now, the previous owner didn't exactly do a good job. Uh, in fact, I don't even think it was the previous owner. It was the owner before him. So these wheels have, uh, yeah, they've been around. He wasn't lying because I checked those wheels out and the dip job was pretty bad. It looks like the person tried, I'll show you guys in a second, but it, it was pretty bad. I took off as much as dip as I could off these wheels as you would expect. They didn't do an even coat and some of the uh, dip is super thin that you can't really peel it back, you have to like hit it with a power washer or some, some sort of chemical to dissolve it. But look at the condition of the rims. I should say wheels because I know a lot of people say wheels instead of rims, which is dumb because I grew up on rims, guys. This right here is a rim, all right? Now I understand some of you say, no, this is a rim. Yeah, that's a rim too, but what do you call a rim, the wheel with the tire? What do you call that? I don't know guys, I'm ranting here. 20 inch factory Ford wheels with decent, not much, but decent amount of tread. First things first guys, we gotta peel off all of this plastic dip on the wheels. Ooh, that's a pretty bad scuff actually. Look at that. It's a good thing we're painting them. Can't complain. And they're a lot bigger than my 16 inch wheels. So here's the other wheel. Still with the plastic dip on, we're gonna peel that off. Here's the other wheel. Pretty bad. So here's where we are at with the wheels. As you can see, the black paint hasn't had 100% coverage as you can still see bits of the alloy color. One or two more coats to make sure we have full coverage of the wheel. But you guys saw the first coat was a very, very light coat. That's your base coat, about 50% transparency. And then after that, you can go heavier and heavier as you guys saw. Sideways pattern, I like to switch it up to make sure I get coverage of every angle so I'll, maybe I'll do one side here then I'll switch it up from this way 
and then this time I'm gonna do it from over here and just do that with every wheel to make sure you get full coverage This might be the last time you see this truck with the 16 inch OEM wheels, guys. Upgrading to the 20 inch. Now, if you didn't know, these wheels were properly painted as opposed to being plastic. -dipped. As in, I had to wash those things down, sand them down, put a primer coat, and then the actual paint on top. But that was the process. But so is plastic dipping, guys. A lot of prep work. Well, actually, not really a lot of prep work. Literally, make sure your wheels are clean. Hit them up with isopropyl alcohol. Put around some index cards. That helps a lot. Index cards work well on these types of rims. But I remember they don't work well on some rims. They don't fit in that little crevice. So you're going to have to mask it off with a bag or some something. Uh, which is a lot more work. This is way better, easier. There we have it folks, 20 inch wheels have been dipped using Rust-Oleum's, uh, crap, what is it, peelable paint coat is what they like to refer to it as. There we have it, Rust-Oleum's peelable paint coat has been sprayed on all four wheels. We went heavy on it guys, but unfortunately my technique wasn't exactly soundproof. That's not dust, that's just uh, areas that I failed to cover. But you can't even notice it, guys. Look at this. Just standing from over here, you can't even see it. Damn it, not sure what happened to that wheel, guys, but look at that. The truck looks so much better with these bigger right wheels. The truck looks way better. So, some tips, folks, is make sure you get maximum coverage obviously uh, we didn't get it into these like tiny little spokes still pretty good job wheels look way better than the uh, factory 16 inch Ford wheels that is gonna do it for today's video guys plastic dip and wheels not that hard of a job Obviously prep work goes a long way, so make sure you clean the wheels properly with some isopropyl alcohol. You're, you wanna make sure the wheels are off, guys. I know you can probably do it with the wheels still on the vehicle. You have to watch out for overspray on the tires, uh, overspraying on your calipers or your, or your rotors. Much easier to just take the wheels off and work from there. That is it, folks. Plastic dipping, not that hard of a job. If you have factory wheels and you wanna change up the look of your truck or your car, not a bad way to start, guys. Now, look at that. Woo! Just gotta clean off those tires. This thing needs a proper wash, guys. That's all for today's video, guys. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. All that stuff is greatly appreciated. I'll catch you all on the next video. Peace and take care.